Hi guys, look what I found in an antique store. An old theodolite. 80 bucks, how could I resist? So what's a theodolite, you ask? Well, that's a symbol of an aviation fire control technician, which is what I became when I joined the Navy in 1964. The Navy has two different kinds of fire control technicians. Those that are associated with aviation, hence the wings in this case, and those that aren't, which is basically ships and battleships. And just to be clear, in the Navy, fire control has nothing to do with fires. It has to do with missiles and bombs and guns. And so I was an aviation fire control technician working on bombers in the Navy on aircraft carriers where I repaired radar and bombing systems of A3D Sky Warriors and A6A Intruders. Now before everybody yells at me and says that I'm pronouncing the word theodolite wrong, they're correct, but I've been saying it that way since 1964, so you'll have to forgive me. Here's the way the Apple's text-to-speech believes that it really should be pronounced. Theodolite. Here's what Wikipedia has to say about a theodolite. It's a precision optical instrument for measuring angles between designated visible points in the horizontal and vertical planes. The traditional use has been for land surveying, but is also used extensively for building and infrastructure construction and in some special applications such as meteorology and rocket launching. In my case, it was used for bore sighting an aircraft, and we used it to align the compass systems on our bomber. So here's a short video showing me trying to spiff it up a little bit.
finally, here's some before and after pictures. Here's a shot in my den mounted next to an astro compass and a sextant. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video.